Hey again guys! Howdy! Today we wanted to do a video talking about something we get asked all the time. You all see our, in our vlogs how we talk about the size of our loads and a lot of them are small. Like for instance last week we did an eight pound box. Right. And so the comments got exploded with everybody asking, <laughs> why don't they just FedEx that? Why don't they overnight it? Right. We get that question a lot. And then we also get questions of, well, can you haul multiple loads? Right. Let's address the eight pound box and why it can't be overnighted. There's a couple reasons why they don't just overnight stuff like that. The main reason is usually the commodity. There's a lot of hazmat shipments that they cannot fly. Yeah explosives radioactives i'm sure there's a couple other those are just uh majority ones that you know we've seen that that just can't go on a plane you mm -hmm. know another reason is it's a secure shipment they don't want it handled by that many people right. they want it on one place one. they know who's watching it they know where it is they can track it yeah not that they can't do that when they overnight something but it's just there's more chance of it being damaged being lost being tampered with um, you know when it's in the back of the truck and it's sealed it stays that way until it gets to where it, the destination is mm -hmm. you know there's no handling of it at all yeah so it, it's secured you know it's yeah. uh, locked up nobody touches it till it gets to its destination right and another question we get asked kind of along that same lines with that was well, why don't they just put it in a cargo van again those packages have to be sealed. So yeah. yes, it can go in a cargo van. If there's a cargo van in the area that is walled off, that they have no access to that freight right, right, right. in the back. Right, they have to have a partition in the cargo van separating sleeper berth from cargo area. Mm -hmm. And it has to be able to be sealed up and protected from any tampering or any type of uh, potential damage and stuff like that or theft you know right i hear a lot of people miss uh, kind of label us as ltl which is a huge misconception mm -hmm. you know uh, just because the loads are small does not mean it's ltl because what expediting is is a customer paying for that dedicated truck to haul their shipment because ltl you you order at ltl service sure you're only shipping one pallet but it's getting picked up by one truck transferred at a dock getting picked up by another truck and depending where it's going could get transferred two three four times along the way before it reaches its final destination and that multiple handling uh, leaves a lot of uh, opportunity for damage now we're not saying that LTL or companies like that mishandle the freight it, what right it's a it's not a bad way to ship you know sure it, it's super cheap you know mm, the rates are cheap the rates that. are really cheap for LTL stuff you can get a pallet cross country for like two three four five hundred dollars depending on your dimensions and the weight and size of that one pallet so but with expediting its dedicated service you know they want that protected single driver handling no cross docking transferring multiple forklifts uh, sliding in and out from under it and so that's what the whole premise of expediting where it's not LTL so it really doesn't matter what the commodity is majority of the time that's what they're paying for and not only that, but with the LTL service, it usually that package or pallet or whatever it is, they have a week to get it there. Whereas ours, we pick up and deliver right. two days, right. one day, whatever right. it is, right. it's usually get it there ASAP. Now, right. I, I know you see us talking about on loads, you know, well, we got to kill some time, this and that. That's usually just over a weekend because yeah. the yeah. place we're delivering is not open. But the majority of our loads let's pick it up and get it there no stopping and killing time right now and another thing a lot of people ask is since you're only hauling an eight pound box can't you stop and pick up other loads Multiple to go with loads. it right some you can but most of the time the customer is paying for that dedicated truck exclusive use exclusive use so they're paying a higher rate for you to only haul their shipment no other shipments yeah now there's some loads where you might pick up at one place and 
drop off at multiple places. They're that just happened the last week. Yeah, we yeah. we picked up a shipment in what was it? We picked up California. two shipments at one shipper in California, but yeah. they were going to two different places: right. one to Utah, one to Arkansas. Right. So we got paid for two separate loads, but right. they could go together. Right. Which happens sometimes. Because it came from the same shipper. But then there's certain special securities that loads do require sometimes that, you know, high value freights, uh, cell phones. If, you're, if you've ever hauled cell phones before, they don't want any loads going with that. But, you know, mm -hmm. that's even if it's just one pallet. And that's a lot of what expediting it does is offer these security, single truck, special handling mm -hmm type of service for instance that load i was just talking about that we picked up in california dropped in utah and then arkansas that load was sealed once we picked up at that shipper when yeah. we got and offloaded the pallet in utah it was one box one box 40 pounds we had to reseal it with seals that that shipper supplied us and right. we had to get it signed off on yep. it's just it, have, there's a lot the rent. of security measures that have to be taken with that right now right. when you're hauling general freight which a lot of expediters do automotive paper whatever it is that's general freight they're still paying for dedicated exclusive truck use yeah, yeah now exclusive there, use. there are some places or some customers that maybe they're not paying for exclusive use that yes you could pick up multiple shipments it also depends on the carrier when we were with panther and we did some general freight loads we never did multiple loads like no, that we no. were on one load and that was it so one load at a time you know it, it just really all depends and like jason said the when they pay for the exclusive use we're getting a higher rate for that so yeah, yeah. it's not like we're losing out on money because we can't pick up multiple loads right because those ltl carriers that are picking up multiple loads he's like he said those rates are usually very cheap so they have to get a bunch of them to make a good a good overall rate for all of those loads together and, and I, we picked up at those places before oh, you yeah. know oh, yeah. uh, there's been times where ltl was not going to be able to get it there fast enough up. so they have uh, expediting intercepted uh, the pallet box whatever the case might be intercept it from the LTL company and complete the the load um, back with Panther after ABF bought them out there we did a lot of ABF shipments yeah we did because ABF couldn't get it there fast enough so ABF would call Panther their sister company and have them get it there uh, when the customer needed it a lot of people don't understand this concept but it's a it's a huge industry yeah. exclusive use and expediting and cargo vans and it's it's really big you know there's a, the company i used to work for before we got into expediting it was a courier company but we did a lot of crazy stuff some music mu musician needed his cowboy hat he left in Dallas before he performed at his next show in uh, Alabama, you know, and we we did things like uh, have it uh, shipped on a plane. We had a courier take it to the plane. We put it in a package. We shipped it uh, on a American airline cargo plane. We'd have a courier pick it up in the other uh, state, deliver it right away. So that whole type of emergency type of freight it, it's really big out there and a lot of people just don't understand or know about it yeah. so yeah so that's why we kind of wanted to explain because those are really a lot of on a lot of our videos we get those questions because yeah. as you know most of the stuff we haul is small yeah <laughs> really small yeah. and we've considered it I, I've, I've been talking to her recently hey what would you think about getting a cargo van yeah <laughs> and build out a cool sleeper in a cargo van because most of the stuff we haul in this big truck it would can go in a cargo really go van. Go in a cargo yeah. van. Yeah, and that, again, like I said, yes, it could go in a cargo van, but they may not have a cargo van in the area that yeah. has the equipment needed. Like they right. don't have a partition, partition wall they can't or, seal it or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so yes, a lot of these loads could go on a cargo van. Yeah, but a lot of loads require being sealed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and dual driver and you yeah. know so one driver up with the load at all times yeah. and no yeah. stopping for more than two or four hours and yeah so yeah. and you know I, I was gonna mention too like with the picking up multiple loads like an LTL thing you know those rates usually are cheaper and it's more work you have to do more work with those loads because you're making multiple stops yeah 
So, not that yeah. I'm opposed to doing the extra work, right. but why kill yourself doing those for lower pay when we can do what we do and we're making higher rates? <laughs> for an eight pound box, right, you know, right. we don't even have to back up to a dock. I think that when they brought it to us, I hope that that kind of helped answer the question about why don't they just overnight that eight pound box yeah. or whatever small freight you have yeah. and why we don't a lot of times or hardly ever do multiple loads. Right. If you don't have any other questions, of course, always leave it down in the comments. We'll yep. be happy to answer those. Thank you as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love and expediting.